Hey, this is Jason Morris with Real Estate Agents That Really Work. Hey, you know, I want to talk to you this morning. I've had a lot of uh, people asking me, you know, they've told me about bad things happening in their life and difficult situations and talked about having trouble getting motivated in the mornings. And I've shared my own personal story with a lot of you. I've went through difficult times just like everybody in mornings where I just didn't want to get out of bed that turned into afternoons where I didn't get out of bed. But you have to get up and go to work. And one of the tricks I've used to get through this and get myself pumped up to make calls in the morning is to change my state. Now, for those of you that have never heard this phrase, changing your state or change your state, I'm going to tell you what it is. The first time I ever heard this, I was listening to a Tony Robbins audio program. Do you know how when you're driving down the road and all of a sudden a song comes on the radio and it just all of a sudden gives you that feeling of summers when you were in high school or it gets you all excited, takes you back to, you know, whatever it is, or those songs that that um, you listen to and it makes you all sad. I mean, that's your state, and it, and it goes both ways. You can listen to music that makes you happy and excited, and you can listen to music that makes you sad and all depressed. Um, instead of it making you think of happy summers, maybe it makes you think of unhappy times, like breaking up with your first boyfriend or girlfriend. So... You want to be able to use this, and if you can control your state, you can control your life, and you, but most importantly, you can control your mornings, and you can control your prospecting time. So what I do is I create a YouTube playlist because, you know, you can go on YouTube and anything you can think of is on there. I just add music to it whenever I hear something that makes me feel like I'm just excited and I'm just ready to go. Something else I've learned about is the difference between in can it, incantations and affirmations um, I could never just get into affirmations it, they just always seem dumb to me you know to get up and read off of a list you know six times a day I'm a good person I'm going to be successful blah 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 you know I just could never really get into that um, it just didn't really I mean I'm not saying they don't work but I just could never buy into it to feel like it worked in my mind but what I do is I do incantations, which is, um, they're different than affirmations. If you look up the definition of incantations in, in Google, it says that it's a magical spell or charm, and that's exactly what it is. It's a ritual that's spoken or sung, and typically incantations in, include some sort of movement. So, you know how, like, when you're watching these movies where it has has like witches or cartoons where they have witches and they're all dancing around, you know, chanting something. That's actually an incantation. So like the song that you hear immediately that makes you bob your head to it, it then while it's going on, well, what you do with incantations is that song that makes you immediately start bobbing your head to it. You know, like, man, you just immediately get into it when it comes on the radio or whatever. <clears throat> then while it's going on, you want to think about what you got to do that day what your goals are, how many calls you're going to make, and how many appointments you're going to set, and how you're just going to crush the day. And just that little bit of movement of just bobbing your head, just getting into the music, is action that's going to put you into motion. And when you start, when you're physically taking action, and you're in state, and you're committing to something and saying, I'm going to do this, it just it, it just puts you in motion to continue that activity through the day. And if you're in motion when you make a commitment, you're more likely to do it. So uh, there are some videos floating around right now on YouTube where Obama's doing this exact same thing before his presidential speech at the, the DNC a couple of weeks ago. He was listening to Eminem's song, Lose Yourself. I mean, this is President Obama who has access to the smartest and brightest people in the world, and he was doing an incantations before running out on stage and giving a speech. And I'm sure that... Um, Donald Trump done some sort of similar ritual. I know there's a lot of speakers and uh, motivational people that do the same thing. So try this for a week while you're driving to the office. You know, find those find those songs on YouTube or something that you can plug into your car. You can play on your phone. You know, and just while you're driving to the office, blast the music in your car. Something strong and powerful that you can sing along to. It doesn't matter what it is because I mean, honestly, most of us ri ride by ourselves to the office. So, you know, my biggest week in June where I was listing a lot of property, 
I was listening to two chains on YouTube talking about busting bottles in the club and saying to myself how many properties I'm going to list that day and how many calls I'm going to make and all this stuff. You know, this is going to put you in an unbelievable state to just go out and start making calls, carry you through, carry you through getting started, and you're just going to crush the day. So I'm really excited for you guys this week. I think you should try this for just a week or a few days. See what happens. Let me know what you think. And this is Jason Morris with Real Estate Agents that really work the Facebook